Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here, bringing you my April 2018 budget report. If you're new to this channel, please click the little red subscribe button down below if you want to follow me on my debt-free journey. First, I'm going to go over my checking account balance sheet, which I keep track of here to see what I've taken out on what days. And then we'll jump over to the every dollar budget on the computer so I can show you my different categories and what is my final report for the month. We left off on the 20th where I paid my goal amount of $575 plus $5 from a survey towards Capital One. So I had $1,709.48 inside my checking account. Of course, I got paid by the church on the 22nd, but that goes directly into the cash envelopes for the groceries and household, but it was $200. I just like to write that down so I know what it is. On the 23rd, I had to go ahead and use up all the money that I had allocated for my gifts sinking fund deposit this month. I actually used more than that. I'll go over that with you in the Every Dollar app, but I went ahead and used up all of that, so I won't be putting that in at the end of the month. I used that $30, bring me down to $1,679.48. Over on the 27th is where I paid all of the household bills except for rent plus my phone bill. So I had $249.22 for CenturyLink, $42.24 for Electric, $84.53 for City, and $86.51 for Phone. Leaving, with, leaving me with $1,216.98. Now, if you haven't been here for a while, I pay everything out of my checking account and then my boyfriend gives me his half, which is why this stuff is so high because it's for a two-person household and then he pays me back his half. Except the phone, that is mine. So bringing that amount over here, I got my boyfriend's money for the month, $463 for half of the bills, minus the insurance that I pay him back, which is $150 towards my health insurance that I get through his work. So then I had $1,679.98 in my account, and I paid here rent. I forgot to mark this here, rent, $850. So I was left with $829.98. I went ahead and took out my regular sinking funds from that amount of $205. That's $50 to the car, $100 towards medical, $25 to the shows, uh, $10 towards registration, and $20 for my personal phone insurance that I am now paying myself instead of paying T-Mobile. So $205 total towards my Capital One 360 accounts. So I just transfer it all at once to the checking account and then I separate it from there. I always have a link for Capital One 360 down below. I use that for my sinking fund needs and I love it so far. This left me with $624.98. And then I called and I got my Capital One payoff amount so that I hopefully don't have to pay any interest, leftover interest next month so that I could pay off my Capital One, guys. So it was $575.23 was the payoff amount. So I paid it off. If you guys haven't watched, uh, I have done my debt snowball already. I'll try to make sure to link it for you guys. This left me with $49.75, and my next priority is my moving fund that I'm trying to fund, so I put $49.75 to that, and I'll show you the amount in there and every dollar. So let's go ahead and jump over there. Here we are in every dollar with my April budget. Here are my paychecks, $1,609.70 and $1,424.78. My boyfriend, he paid me $463. It says $613 here because that is actually his half. And then down below, I pay him back for my health insurance. This was my income tax of $521. $500 was for my debt snowball and $21 went to my moving fund. This is that Capital One referral I was talking about. There is a link down below. 
dog sitting, I made actually $45 and I put 10 towards my gas. So $35 went straight to my debt snowball. And that survey that I got through the mail, that gave me $5. So here are my savings categories. I didn't add anything for the emergency fund or the January fund. Added 50 for car maintenance, 100 for medical. Gifts, I still have the $30 that I would have put into it, but I used it directly out of my checking account. So I didn't add it at the end of the month. I used it during the month. But I did have three sisters' birthdays, so I spent 20, about 25 on each of them. So I actually used almost $75 from it this month, including that $30 planned. So I only have $31 remaining. Shows, I added 25. Moving, 70, 75. Registration, $10. And phone for 20. I do think this phone amount is wrong. I think that should read 40. I have to look at that. Housing, of course, rent is 850 like usual. City was 84.53. Electric was 42.24, mobile phone was 86.51, cable internet was $249.22. For my cash envelopes categories, I had $180 for gas, nothing from my personal checks for groceries, it all came from the church check, cats $40, which is $20 per paycheck, clothing $20, which is $10 per paycheck. Medical, 50, which is 25 per paycheck. Personal, 100, which is 50 per paycheck. Nothing to my wallet money. Uh, hair, $40, $20 per paycheck. Nothing to household, just like the groceries. It all came from the church check this month. And then I actually had to pay for checks at the beginning of the month, so that was $5. Health insurance, this is what I pay back to my boyfriend of $150. Auto insurance is $100. And then down here, the big payment of $1,710.23 for Capital One, which was the income tax of $500, the Capital One referral for $20, dog sitting for $35, my goal payment plus the $5 from the survey, which was 575 plus the five, so 580. And then the final payment of $575.23, final cap one payment. So that was the payoff amount, and it is paid off. Discover is 85 for the minimum, and Fed loan is 130 for the minimum. If you can see here, debt was actually 46% of what it says my income is. Of course, my income is a little different because I have my boyfriend's amount coming in as well. But it's still basically 46% of everything that I brought in went to my debt payment this month. So I think that April was a very successful month. How was your guys' April? I'm looking forward to May and June. May has three paychecks and June is just busy month with Lion King. So tell me how you guys did. I'll of course put the links up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.